What is on my workbench today? Well, these are audio transformers for a microphone preamplifier that came from a Gatesway Gates audio console that was using a radio station here locally. Now this a audio console was decommissioned long ago and it was in pieces when I got it so it was unsalvageable except the parts. Believe me, I wish if I can go back in time I would have saved a lot more than just the transformers and the tubes but here we are. I'm a lot older now and this is what I have. So uh, what I am thinking about doing here or rather attempting to do is build a microphone preamplifier again out of these except in particular these two because the rest of these large ones here are interstage uh, transformers for like the monitor amp and such from the audio console and these are all three output transformers for the preamp which I'm not gonna be needing uh, you can see some of these have been chopped pretty heavily I'm like this one's missing a lot of wires right down to the actual tube that goes inside the transformer so I mean some of these might not even be salvageable unless I could pop the lid on that somehow but the ones that were salvageable luckily were the ones I wanted these ones are still cut real short you can see that blue wire over here I mean look at how short that was so I, ha I had to uh, solder on some leads very very carefully and put some heat shrink around them so these could be reusable zip ties so they don't get yanked out of the shell so these are very precious to me right now uh, these things uh, these audio transformers and by the way this is uh, a1 uh, 10 42 6 T transformer and these uh, had a lot of voices throughout the years go through them. A lot of disc jockeys, a lot of music. I can't even imagine what went all through them. I mean, there's voices that probably aren't even alive today that went through these transformers. I have a, a third one over here, which I'm using for the test circuit. So the plan is, is to make a modern preamplifier using operational amplifier chips, OP amps, because I don't want to deal with tubes. I mean, when this stuff was made, it was all tube amplifier stuff. Now, I could build it with tubes if I really wanted to, but eh, I, I like solid state. It's just easier to work with. All the sound is going to come from the transformer anyway when it comes to the coloration. So, what I have here currently is one stage of a two stage preamplifier, because this is going to be in stereo or for stereo miking and it will track in stereo too because I'm going to have a built-in audio compressor limiter depending on how it's set up uh, so far got a, a op amp for the input stage only using one half of that for the input stage from the transformer itself and then of course from the microphone transformer op amp Second op amp there is uh, the audio limiter, which I'm going to design this so it can be either switched in or switched out. Uh, third op amp there is the buffer, which will buffer it up to line level. And there will be a pad which can be switched in and out to either switch from mic level or line level output. And then the fourth chip is nothing important, that's just a uh, power rail splitter. So let's give it a little test. Uh, I got the microphone hooked up. Now there will be a little hum because as you can see the entire circuit right now is wide out in the open so there's going to be hum. Uh, I have aluminum foil underneath there grounding it as best as I can for shielding. But uh, this lamp up here which is variable it has where you can change the brightness so it has it has a chopper circuit in it and it makes a lot of noise but we'll try it anyway so on we go and uh, here we are I have the microphone I'm micing my voice right now this is me live going into the circuit through the audio transformer through the audio limiter and then out over here to the actual uh, 
uh, audio board and then out to my stereo speakers. So as you can see the actual circuit works and it works really good. This gives me a lot of headroom. I can uh, control that uh, potentiometer anywhere from uh, sounds like being right next to a drum kit all the way down to you know whispers so this gives me a lot of I'll switch the mic off now this gives me a lot of headroom in the circuit uh, probably around 60 to 80 decibels of headroom as is right now and that's kind of variable depending on supply voltage I think I'm gonna run this whole thing on probably about 24 volts and split it 12 volts per rail so that's the idea right now just wanted to give a little story about the audio transformers because these things have a history quite a history I forget which brand makes them but there's a brand local local <laughs> logo I'll put that in my video so that's where I'm at and uh, We'll see where this project goes. I got a lot more to do here, obviously. This is just the very beginnings of something. I was originally attempting to make a binaural audio microphone preamplifier. And I thought, well, I have these old uh, audio transformers laying around. Maybe I should utilize those instead, because I could have a lot more fun with those, I believe. And I think when I get done with this, I'm going to have a really high-quality microphone preamplifier that'll be transformer based and as we know transformer based preamplifiers are not cheap uh, so I'm quite fortunate to have these and I'm very fortunate to have them from a radio station that has quite a history here locally so besides the voices throughout all the years that went through these my own voice is now going through these with my own circuit and I think that's pretty neat so this is the original card that came from the Gatesway audio console. This would have housed the actual transformers in these two holes. This would have been down in there. And I do have the original mounts too that would have went over them, thankfully, because I kind of need those to uh, use them in what I'm going to build here. But I just find it fascinating. This was made I'm pretty sure in 1962 and this is pretty incredible how they made printed circuit boards in those days I mean, you can see here hold it up to light better how hairy the design is uh, I just find that fascinating how, how they made this and uh, look how thick the actual PCB board is there yeah, I could have uh, kept the transformers on here, recapped it, reused the original cards as preamplifiers for tube preamplifiers for mics, but that's really not my style. I know some people are gonna be angry about that. They'd be like, "Why did you, you know, butcher this poor old uh, Gates Audio Console card?" Because you know, people would uh, do anything to have a couple of those. Well. This thing was already kind of butchered. I mean, it was missing tube sockets, and uh, these carbon resistors are old. The capacitors are toast. I can guarantee you that. Uh, this electrolytic is garbage. Uh, these, you wouldn't want to put 400 volts DC through these anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they might go off uh, like a gunshot when you're uh, recording something, and you'll wonder why. But yeah, that's what the original Transformers would have came from. I wish I, I still had the audio console they came from, so I could show you guys that. But besides that, uh, just for a little side note for fun, look at what I got from my workbench. Kit Kat clock. <laughs> Everybody needs one of these for their workbench. And one of these. Everybody needs Red Kilowatt. Your electric servant. So now I feel like a real electronics engineer. Everybody needs those two things above their workbench, right? So, yeah. 